Howdy, my name is Ayush Khan and I am part of DEEP and my project is about cryo preservation. All right, so cryo preservation is a process within which we, one, preserve something using something called a cryo protectant and then freeze at very low temperatures, which can then be taken out at a much later date and be unfrozen and be as good as new and still have the healthy cells. So in this demonstration, we applied an elementary cryo preservation technique towards yeast cells this, we created two solutions, one of DMSO and one of 30% glycerol. DMSO is 10%. So these solutions were diluted because if they weren't diluted, they could actually harm the cells that we're trying to protect. And these are the cryoprotectants. So the job of a cryoprotectant is that they will, one, lower the freezing point of water so that water cannot get through and harm the cells, which is what usually happens when you try and freeze something. And two, it also prevents water from getting onto the cells and damaging. These two vials I have here, the one from the MSO, is a 1 to 10% ratio of the MSO to our yeast solution and a 1 to 10 ratio of our glycerol solution to our uh, yeast solution. So in this liquid nitrogen thing right here, we're going to be putting our solutions, our vials, and we're going to be freezing them for a while so we can take them out at a later date and look if they are still healthy or not. So ideally, once we take these vials out, we want to see that they are pretty much the exact same as the cells that are seen in this container right here, the original yeast cells we grew yesterday. And in general, what we want to see with crop preservation is that, let's say we want to freeze a piece of meat right now, it would usually be damaged by the water and the ice that's forming on it when we freeze it. So crop preservation, because of the crop protectants we use and at the temperature we froze it at, we're able to preserve it for a much longer time and prevent damage onto the cells. This is useful for, let's say, meat that we want to preserve in the future, and then you can keep it for like 10, 20 years.